Oh boy. Dang, that sounds good. It's Friday afternoon and we are driving back to Michigan. The day has come, the RS7 is being sold. Uh, I have mixed feelings about this, I'm sad to see it go, a little bit conflicted, but I am picking up a new vehicle this weekend too, driving it back. And since it's my last couple of hours with the car, I decided to film it, taking it back to Michigan. It's going to Platinum Motor Cars for the sale, saying goodbye to the RS7. We have nearly a five hour drive plus an hour time difference from Chicago all the way back to Michigan. So let's get on the road and get going. <laughs> Wanna miss those cracks and pops. Decently long drive, but we have arrived back in Michigan at my parents' house. Just pull the R7 into the garage. Oh, say hello to my mom's Ford Flex. Pretty tired right now. I think it's like 11:30 at night. Picking up the new vehicle tomorrow. Still have the R7. We'll get a couple last final uh, pictures and maybe some rollers of the video. But the car was great on a road trip again. It's just so fast and comfortable. It is truly an amazing sedan. Uh, but. It's gonna go away. I'm gonna miss these cold starts. After my five hour drive from Chicago out to Michigan, the R7 is quite filthy. It was also recently driven in the rain, so we'll give it a quick wash in preparation for some pictures and videos we're gonna take tomorrow before it goes goodbye. So it's my last time washing the RS7. Cue the sad music. go nice and clean got some nice beating action going on some of the paint protection film gonna dry the car off and it'll be good to go nice clean wash it looks so good when it's clean oh my god the nardo gray over the satin anthracite brixton forged wheels the carbon accents really do like the way that this car looks that is very windy this is not good for filming. Holy crap. Today is a sad day. It is my last day with the RS7 and it is extremely windy. Colin is here with me. We are taking this. It is going to get dropped off at Platinum Motor Cars in Birmingham. It's been sold side, help me get it sold. And we're gonna take the truck too and we're gonna go get some pictures and videos, right? Yes. 911's down there. I'm already using my truck's cargo capacity slash practicality. I've got. 21 inch tires going in to the truck. There's a C8 in our neighborhood. The Jason Woodward has arrived with his very blue M3 CS. I am going to do one more cold start of the R7. That M3 CS is pretty impressive. It definitely, uh, off the line, all he did was spin, so I beat him there, but from a roll, the RS7 and M3 CS were pretty much neck and neck in our mutual acceleration event where we made a short detour to Mexico, obviously. Got some cracks and pops from that thing, too. Not bad, Jason, not bad. What is this? Oh, that's... Oh, that sounds good. That is an R8. That it's, absolutely has some sort of aftermarket exhaust. Oh, that sounds good. I yeah, should just buy this to replace that immediately. Buddy of science. Oh, okay. Yeah. Say hi, Alex. Hello. Hello. Everybody. Okay, this R8 has some sort of exhaust because listen to this. 
Holy crap! I should just, this is selling the RS7 in this video and I should just buy this R8. Oh my god. And it's got the red interior, but it's a non-plus, so no carbon um, exterior package for the wing and it also has slightly less horsepower. This actually makes less power than my first gen R8 did because I had a tune on it, but this is nice. That M3 CS is surprisingly fast. Because I'm a better driver. Oh, shut up. <laughs> you got, he actually got me on one run. Wait, wait, how I much power is it? Runs. How much, is it 500? Is what? that 500 horsepower? No, it's 450. Nah, that's underrated. BMW under reports. I think it, like at the max, I think somebody pulled it was in 460. To like, the wheels? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so that's like 500 crank and it weighs a lot less. So yeah, that M3 CS, wow, I was surprised. That thing is, uh, I know the M3 is quick with the six cylinder, but then kept up with the RS7. He, technically he did beat me once. The Ram, the RS7, the R8, the M3 CS. Little baby wing. It's bigger than your wing right now. <laughs> you got wing envy going on right now. Mine's carbon fiber though. Carbon fiber compensation. Carbon fiber. Instead, I'm gonna buy the Sprinter. There you go. RS7 for the Sprinter. Actually, sadly, that Sprinter costs more than my RS7 does. I have to move the seat so far because Colin is a foot shorter than me. We're maintaining our distancing. This is, this is how we talk now. Oh, it's Wendy again, and I'm outside. That was Alex. Alex's tire stack just fell over on its own, and they just rolled over here. Alex? I almost died. Yeah, that almost just got run over by a 21. It says my last name on the tire. Look. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Chew tires. The what? That's not how you, that's not how you pronounce it. How do you pronounce it? Chew? 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 Say goodbye, Jason. Bye. You want to repeat what you told me to do for the Ram? Uh, put a stripper pole in it and a hot tub in the back. <laughs> Everything will be fine. And buy an R8. What? I said stripper pole in the back, hot tub, and buy an R8. You're just adding to the list. Yeah. All right, what else? All right, see you later. <laughs> it's always fun using somebody else's money. Oh, yeah, spending my money. <laughs> Goodbye, M3CS. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. So why the heck am I selling my RS7? A couple of reasons. One, the main reason is I got a truck which then allows me to get a sports car again and I miss a little bit of that. I miss having the S4 and an R8. I miss having options. So something that's more daily driver focused, more practical, and then something that's a more exotic sports car, more fun, maybe a manual car. And having the RS7 as a combination is great because it's fast, it's comfortable, it sounds amazing. It's an awesome all around daily driver, but I don't quite have the funds to be able to have that and have something like an R8. So my plan right now, and it changed, uh, is to go back to having multiple vehicles. So I have the Ram as my daily driver. It's practical to be good for filming. And then I wanna buy something in the range of maybe an R8 V10 again. Uh, this time I'm looking at possibly a 2014, 2015 R8 V10 plus coupe with the dual clutch transmission and then getting like a sports car that's manual transmission for good amount of content to satisfy my desire in missing the fact of driving a manual frequently. A lot of different ideas I'm bouncing around right now, but at a high level explanation of why the amazing RS7 is going away is because I want to get some other vehicles and I don't have unlimited money, I don't have unlimited space, so therefore, sacrifices have to be made. How's the Lunchables, Colin? Pretty good. Pretty good? Pretty good. I mean, you can't go wrong with cheese and crackers no matter how old you are. Well, we are back at the warehouse and that is it. I am dropping off the RS7. I'm gonna take my license plate off, leaving it here. Tires are there. It is on to the next owner. I'm actually genuinely sad. Today, we, I filled it up with gas and drove it around, enjoyed it. We got some great pictures. It looks so good, clean. Oh, wait, I have to pull these stickers off. All right, let's do that. Sad, sadness. So sad. Ah, so, I'm an idiot and Alex is like, don't you want to leave it out for pictures? Cause he's going to take a couple more uh, pictures of the car here at the warehouse. And I started peeling the sticker off. So I fixed it. I fixed it. That's my logo. That's totally my logo. <laughs> and everything is out of the RS7. We've emptied it. 
I'm gonna park it in the warehouse, keys are inside. And that's it, one final walk around. Check out those Brixton Forge wheels. Took the plate off. Oh boy. My car now. This is not your car. <laughs> that's not how it works. <laughs> What? This is like socialism for cars? <laughs> Goodbye R7. It was good knowing you. And there we go.